Hi everybody. In this video, we're going to be installing uh, ESXi uh, version 7.0 hypervisor onto our computer that we have assembled. Uh, it's um, socket AM4 uh, X570 uh, chipset with 64 gigs of RAM and the uh, 3950X uh, Ryzen 9 CPU. So we're going to need two things for this. We're going to need a utility called Rufus and the ISO image of VMware ESXi, which you can get from VMware.com. It's available for free. You just need to make an account, download the ISO image, get your key, and you can follow along. Let's get started. So first, we will uh, open up a browser and... Um, grab Rufus. Rufus. Rufus.ie. We have our uh, USB drive F. We are uh, going to run Rufus. Yes. Now, F drive is selected. Make sure you have nothing important on this drive. It will get overwritten. We want to select disk or ISO image, which is selected by default. Select and browse to your VMware ESXi disk uh, uh, ISO image. Leave everything as is default. We have a GPT uh, partition scheme, UEFI BIOS, uh, volume name, everything can, be, can stay at default. Start, we want the ISO image mode, okay. Warning, all data on the device will be destroyed. Please make sure you you have nothing important on the target drive. I'm going to let this finish. We are finished, so we can go ahead and close the tool. Safely remove the drive. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, switch over to our to our video capture card, which is taking input from our machine that is powered off right now. VMware SXI installer, uh, USB drive goes into the USB port of the target machine. There's no operating system on this machine. I left it as 
it was when uh, from the previous video where I was it was uh, when I was um, showing how to wipe the drives. So nothing on it. I'm powering it up. And let's there it is. We're going to install and uh, perform a basic configuration on the, on the machine. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, welcome to the VMware SXI 7.0.1 installation. We'll go ahead and uh, press enter to continue. Uh, we'll read the license agreement and uh, press F11 to accept and continue. Now, where are we going to be installing this uh, operating system? So I'm going to be installing this on the NVMe drive. There it is right there, it's already selected. We will be going over how to add data stores in a later video. Right now we leave all of those, they're all blank. Everything is blank. This machine has nothing on it, except the BIOS. So I'll go ahead and select this device. US default as my keyboard. Uh, please choose this appropriately. I'll put in a password. Confirm a password. This is your root password. Press enter to continue. And then we're going to press F11 to install. And that will install ESXi onto our machine. Remove installation media before rebooting. I'm gonna grab that USB drive, unplug it. Here it is. Enter to reboot.
and we're ready. Now we're going to perform some basic uh, configuration steps. Let me just uh, hide myself. So we can see the entire screen now. Going to go to F2, login as root, enter your password. And what we want to do now. So, first thing, we want to configure the network. Configure management network. Network adapters. And we have three uh, VM NICs here. And we are going to be using VMNIC 0 as our management uh, uh, VNIC. We are not going to be changing any of this, uh, uh, any um, anything on the management uh, VNIC after it's configured because that's strictly for our uh, management purposes. So we do not want to do anything with it. The other two NICs will be used uh, for the for the other things that we would need to do. So we can view the details. It gives you the information of that NIC. It says disconnected. That means the Ethernet cable is not physically plugged into it, which is absolutely correct. Same thing we can do for the other two cards. Nothing connected, okay. Also, nothing connected. That's it. So, we select um, VLANs. We're not doing VLANs. This is going to be connecting to an uh, access port. So we don't need to set up a VLAN. IP configuration, by default, it will take an address from your DHCP server. Since it's not connected to anything, it cannot grab an address. So what we're going to do is we're going to set uh, a static IP. So IPv4 address is uh, going to be 10.192.172.15 Subnet mask is going to be 255.255.255.0 Of course, you will uh, enter the values that are appropriate for your environment. Uh, and the default gateway is going to be 10. 192.172.1. We got a network configuration. IPv6 configuration, we're not going to use yet. We may use it later. I'll leave it as is. DNS configuration, I will use uh, Google's DNS servers for now. But later, we're going to set up our own DNS server because we want DNS in our environment. This is going to be in a different video, not this one. So I usually name my machines by the name of the motherboard or the name of the processor that's in it. So uh, let's, I like this. So let's do X570. Auras. Ultra. ESXi. That's our host name for this box. X570 Auras Ultra ESXi. Okay, that looks good. Let's enter to continue. Custom DNS suffixes. 
we're going to have a domain lab dot local that's our lab domain apply the changes to the management network after pressing escape yes i would like to apply the changes to the management network so here are here's our configuration we can configure we can enter it again and we can double check if our configuration is there it's there everything we asked for is there and we are good now uh, what do we need here there's not much really you can do here so that was the basic configuration so i'm going to go ahead and press f12 uh put in my password and uh, i want to shut this machine down because i'm going to go and physically plug it into where it needs to be instead of it living under my desk so um password and f2 to shut down that was easy computers off thanks everybody for watching i hope this was useful to you